Remember all those tree limbs down after Hurricane Irma? You couldn't wait to get rid of them, right? But now you might buy them back because they have been recycled. The family business has become one of the largest recyclers of storm debris in the state. I'm glad somebody's doing it, you know. <laughs> Fox 13's Lloyd Sauer shows us how they do it. The trail of tree limbs left by Hurricane Irma stretched from the Keys to Georgia. And while most want rid of their storm debris, Bill Gaston wants to recycle it. The idea that you can take a liability and change the shape of it, put a little pixie dust in it, and then turn it into an asset for beneficial use, now that's a really cool process. The process is an amazing movement of mountains of mulch. Material that Gaston's tree debris recycling is paid to take. It comes in rough ground at any size will run a material through it. They have plants like this all over Florida. It's cheaper and more environmentally friendly than burning or burying debris. And then Gaston sells the mulch. For an agricultural application, it could, could go to a landscape application. It, it may end up in a big box store in a bag. Home improvement and box stores are full of mulch that came from Gaston's, one of the biggest companies of its kind in Florida. This is our business. But when a storm comes, you must say to yourself, we're going to be busy. There's no question. Tons of mulch is being processed at six locations like this across Florida. It's a far cry from when at 17 years old, Bill started a one-man tree service in Gainesville. That's before recycling was popular, and Bill would turn mulch into gold. They make mulch all year, every year, but this year, the year of Irma, there's a lot to recycle. People want to get rid of it? Bill takes it. Everybody wins. And that storm debris that was on your lawn might be mulch now. You might actually buy that bag back and put it back in your yard. The debris that covered Florida is becoming a mountain of mulch. Lloyd Towers, Fox 13 News. <laughs> Isn't it great they're finding a use for it? He also makes fuel for biomass power plants, so it might be uh, turning on your lights, too. What do you know?